My name is Meg Langley, and I'll be sharing some of my work and recommendations regarding a small herd of Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep, which currently reside just east of Golden, BC in the Kicking Horse Canyon. Thinking about shared resources makes me think about the air that birds, bats, and sheep all consume, how much dirtier that air must be in a canyon traveled by thousands of vehicles, and how amazing life is at removing toxins and extracting what is needed. In 1986, a small group of bighorn sheep was observed in the canyon, and fearing their starvation with a very severe winter, the Golden District Rod and Gun Club started a supplemental feeding program that lasted until 2015. Numbers increased well above the carrying capacity of the area, and 32 sheep were removed and relocated to the south in the late 2000s, leaving around 20 animals. Bighorn sheep are known to be very faithful to their home and lambing ranges as demonstrated by this herd. Although these sheep are in good condition and have adapted to local conditions, including being shrub eaters and showing little avoidance of human activity, their numbers have dropped and their use of the highway corridor may be their eventual demise. An impressive amount of information can be gleaned from feces, and I wish more managers would use these non-invasive resources. This data informed about inbreeding, diet quality, parasite loads, and stress hormone levels. GIS information, observation, and field sampling were used to evaluate habitat quality and use along with lambing success and recruitment, which is a concern as five lambs were born in 2020, and at least two of the three now dead were killed by vehicles. In addition to highway mortality, the data pointed to a low quality diet and poor quality, highly disturbed habitat as probable limiting factors. Fencing placement is such that sheep have to go onto the highway to access spring range and sheep were found to gain this access by misusing the exit gates and jump out structures designed for escape from the highway corridor. This behavior has not been documented previously and is of grave concern given the impacts of highway mortality on these sheep. Many recommendations stemmed from this work and the full report can be found online. Among them, the following could be achieved within the next two to three years and could have positive impacts for this herd and be an example of how highway development can improve wildlife habitat. Improve the habitat quality away from the highway. Cultivate highly digestible and high protein trees, shrubs, forbs, and grasses. Ensure access to required minerals. Remove invasive weeds and their seeds. Remove garbage. Stop the sheep from accessing the highway corridor. Eliminate the attractants by removing spilled grains, not planting alfalfa, and not fencing animals out of critical ranges. Ensure alternative sources of required minerals, food, and level to slightly sloping east-west travel routes. Change existing fencing to allow access to open southwest facing slopes. Alter one-way gates and jump outs to impede two-way use. And ensure that phase four highway development connects currently used habitat north and south of the Trans-Canada number one. With these things, the sheep say thank you. And I say thank you to them and to the project sponsors and supporters and volunteers.